Okay, now that we are PV with the menu bar, it's time for us to move to the command line and also look at the status bar right at the bottom of the screen. So first things first, we're going to start with this command line. So the command line is similar to the one that you have in AutoCAD in the sense that this is where you can type out a command in order to execute it or if you're already executing a command that you have selected from the menu bar, this will give you the steps that you will need to follow for the perfect execution of that command. To give you an example or an illustration, I'm just going to draw out a line and show you what it does. So to draw out a line, all you can do is go to the line and underline there are so many options but in this case we're just going to use the line auto or the auto option. So click on it to select it. Once you have selected line auto, what I want you to do is go back to the command line and you will see it's telling you where do you want your line to begin. In this case, I'm just going to click anyway and as you can see, if you go back to the command line, it's telling you where do you want your line to end. In this case, I'm just going to drag my cursor to the right of the screen and click over there and the line has been drawn. Now remember, just like in AutoCAD, some commands will need for you to click the escape bar for you to jump out of them because they are what we call recurring commands. In this case, line auto is also a recurring command and what we're going to do is just click on escape to jump out of the command. Now that we are out of the command, the other thing as we said, if you're already executing a command, it shows you the steps that you need and that is what we were doing. But it can also help you to execute a command. So all you have to do is go into it and then type out whatever you want to execute your command. So most of the times in Pro Compass, you will be typing out shortcuts. And the shortcut for the command that we, ex we just executed called the line auto is going to be just typing LA in the command line. And once you do that, you can see that in the command line it's telling you where do you want your line to begin. Then you just click on that point, click on that point, then click on escape to jump out of the command. And there you see we have drawn two lines using the two different methods that you can use and also incorporating the use of the command line. Now that you know the command line, the next thing that we need to move to is what we call the status bar. So in the status bar, the first section that we need to go to is, as you see my mouse hovering over it, it's saying PS set point. Well, basically what this will be doing is, as you see as my mouse is hovering, the numbers will be changing for the X and Y coordinates. So basically what it does, it just shows you the coordinate of the point you are at or where your mouse is at on the drawing, depending wherever it is. So right now, as you can see, I'm at a point that is 521.018 in the X and 247.182 in the Y. After we're done with the first section, the next section that will come, or rather the next three sections that comes where you have SL, and in this one SE and in this one SS, all of this has to do is with layers. So remember with Procon pads, it also has the ability for you to use as many layers as you want. And this allows you to bring out the, what we call the edit table layer that allows you to create as many layers as you want. And then at the bottom, L1 just allows you to select the layer that you would want depending if you have so many layers. And the other one allows you to set the scale of the layer that you would want in case you want to use multiple layers. We will look into using layers in a later video. So for now, just know that this has to do with setting your layers, select, this is selecting your layers, creating your layers, and this one is for setting the scale of your layers. After you're done with this section, you will go to what we call the point section, PC, right? How many points do you have? So currently we don't have any survey points on the drawing. So that is why the count is zero. And as I said, we're not going to be worrying a lot about this point. So we're just going to leave it. But just remember, this is where you can create your points or set them out. After the point section, you will go to what we call the pen settings tab. So for pen settings, this is what allows you to change the line parameters that you would want or use it in your drawing. For some of you will find that the drawing or the pen settings when you download your program will be different from the one that I'm using. So to best just switch it back, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just go back to classic, click OK. And as you will see, the pens that I have have changed and the drawing also on the screen has changed. So you can always change it. You can always import any pen settings that you want. As you can see, this is the program geek. I already have my pen settings, but I'll show you how to change this much later in another video once we get to move. After the pen settings, you have the line type. This is still related to the pen settings where you can change the line type that you want from solid dash and you can set the parameters for the its scale as well and also what type of line it is and how it looks. But to be honest, just leave it at default because you don't want to mess around with this too much. 
Then the last but not least thing on the status bar is your mode or your drawing mode selection buttons. So these buttons allow you to select different modes. For example, the first one is for the auto mode. So in the case when we were drawing a line, you saw that it was just going either up or down or to the right. That is because auto mode is on. So you can turn it on or off. And in this case, you can now draw your line in any direction that you want. And you can do it like that. Just press escape to jump out of the command. And if you want, turn it back to auto. And in this case, you can no longer draw your line in any direction, but it will be following 90 degrees at every turn. The next one is the construction line mode. I'll show you what this is all about when we start doing more tutorials or other series. Then the other one is the hide or show construction lines. We'll show you again. Then the other one is the baseline mode. This is for your dimensions. The other one is the show or hide bending schedule. So you can do this or you can go to the window and just say show or hide the bending schedule. So this is a quick way to do it or just jump out. Magnetic cursor, please by default always leave, leave this one on because this is what allows you to snap to any point in your drawing. Then the next one that you have is the repeat mode on or off. By having it on, it allows you just to right click and then to repeat any command that you would want. If you turn it off, none of the commands or the past commands that you did will appear in this when you right click. Then the last but not least, this is the expand bar groups. This only starts to make sense when we start detailing our bars. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the video right here because we've covered everything. Now you're preview with the menu bar, status bar and also the command line. And just remember this Button bars are just shortcuts to some of the commands that you will find under the menu bar. For example, this is a shortcut for you to draw a line. So all you have to do is that. So sometimes you don't have to go under line and select the command. All you have to do is just know which shortcut it is and then just do it for yourself. So I think for now the video is okay. In the next step, we're going to be looking at a new topic and we'll see as we continue so that you get preview with pro compares before we actually start doing our examples.